Sorry for the inter interruption. Something uh, plug got kicked out. I'm not going to do the video over again. But I was, I, I believe I was talking about this guy right here. So this is uh, Jason Goodman. He is suspect number one. He's showing, you know, signs of violence, signs of uh, frustration. Why is he trying to cover up uh, an investigation into Jen Moore? How come none of these characters ever, uh, ever cared to find out about Jen Moore until now? What, what's the reason? So. So as a summation, uh, Marcus Conti reporting, there is, there is um, this is the case of, of Jen Moore, a alleged investigator into child uh, aggression, child pornography, child uh, allegations of child rape, child pedophilia, right? All of these things. It's always pedophilia, but, and, um, and there just, there doesn't, in, in my view, there doesn't, there still doesn't seem to be any solid evidence that Jen Moore died as a result of investigating this uh, alleged crime. It seems more, in my view, and, and, and I, you, can, you could have your own opinion. I know a lot of other opinions. I don't coordinate my opinions with anybody. I just, I look at the evidence and this is what you get, right? I'm, I'm telling you what I say, right? And my view is that that the, the, the LARPers, the players in this scenario, are so hell-bent on creating these fictional stories that they're even willing to beat the shit out of each other. As you saw yesterday, as you saw one of the, the, the main suspects. Now, I had always said George Webb may have been suspect number one, and I'll, I'll, I'll alter that now because George Webb doesn't show signs, even in a drunken stupor, after thousands of videos, doesn't show those signs of, of uh, physical aggression, at least not in video form or, in, I mean, unless he's extremely secretive and nobody around him has ever, um, uh, it, it, you know, no one around him has ever come forward with that kind of, you know, story, then there's no real evidence to suggest that George beat the shit out of her. Now, the, the George's girlfriend beating her up, it, the, what's the motive there? Just, just a cat fight? That's kind of stupid. But so even if so so we're not saying that we're not saying that Jason Goodman murdered Jenny Moore. That's not the allegation here is uh, here. The allegation is that Jason Goodman may have beat the shit or punched Jen Moore the night of her death, causing her to go back, take a little too much of her prescription in the heat, curl up in the you know in a bed and die. Right? You hit, you punch somebody. The guy has no regard for anyone's health. He'll 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 punch a guy with he'll swing an umbrella at a guy with glasses, try to knock his eye out, try to break his equipment. What's what's uh, hard to believe that he may have punched or pushed Jen Moore and hit her in the chest? Right? So it's not ridiculous. And what is he covering up? Why is he why is he distanced himself so far from the Jen Moore case up until now? Right? Why did he distance himself? Because he may have been implicated he may be involved in the actual manslaughter the actual abuse of this girl because no one no one saw it but it is it is suspicious that he was there and he has this history of violence and the love triangle that I uh that I described that he was coming there to to straighten her out you know that sort of thing so so uh Marcus Conte reporting um you know, so kindly become a Patreon of this work. This is how I do it. This is how I fly. I don't work for anybody. I work for you. I am a, uh, uh, you know, an independent citizen. I was a whistleblower of my own. I, I, I am in full public view. I, I don't, I take, the only money I take is from, if you become a Patreon, I love you. I don't care who you are, what you do. If you, if you want to contribute to my work and, and, and become a Patreon, <laughs> the big $150 a month, you know, well, $170, it's, it's significant. Plus, you know, PayPal, you're welcome to do that. You want to buy some stickers, you're welcome to do that. There's no strings attached to that. You don't buy my, my view. Right? So, again, the notion that somehow Conti is, is, is working with someone to, to disrupt others is is well I am working for someone I'm working for the for the viewers and I am looking to dis disrupt which is disrupt corruption and in this case fake news so Marcus Conte reporting peace